No. <laughs> okay, so how am I going to answer this? What is a reasonable percentage? Because that's how a lot of people think, percentage of the cost. Because really, if you think about it, you mean I'm going to have to pay this for stuff that's not part of the brick and mortar? That's a lot of money, isn't it? Where are you going to find this? Where are you going to find this? Memes. How many brought your books? Weren't they supposed to bring their books? Yeah, they were. The answer to this question is on page... I I lost it. It's like mini answer. No, no, it's, it's just one answer. I, I love you. It's on page 715. Is that what you said? Mine is uh, building construction cost data 2008. It says general requirements. All right, so it's in here. So when, when I ask you the question, gosh, man, your GCs is, is just whacked out compared to the other four teams. What's your response going to be? Think about it. Well, you, uh, you <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what I'm looking for. But let me ask something, God. If, when you're doing construction manager at risk, and you're talking about GCs, and you have, I mean, basically you're trying, you're you're going with a guaranteed maximum price, but you're also uh, showing your expenses. I mean, does uh, does your field superintendent cost go into general conditions? Can everybody hear him? Hear David? Superintendent definitely is part of your general conditions. Do you remember when we reviewed the proposal letter? Wasn't that on there? Yeah. Yes, it was. This might help you. This might help you to think about it again. Whatever that book says, that's only one answer. Another way of doing it is doing it by detail. That's the way it's done 99.9999999 percent of the time. It'll be hard, well, every now and then, we'll do it the easy way, and we'll put a percentage. If I do it, I'll do it the easy way. If he does it, he'll do it a long list. And you can go out on the web, and you can look up what the going salaries are for superintendents, project managers. But consider this. If I ask you the question, let's just say you're out in the left field with your general conditions. Okay. I answer the. I ask you the question, and you say, "Well, gosh, I got it on page seven fifteen of our students book." What am I going to think? What a dumb. <laughs> <laughs> As opposed to, you know, here we, we put together a schedule. We came up with this list of personnel. Uh, we weren't sure whether this was to be included in GCs or not. So since we're competing for it. It, we consider it to be cost of work because it wasn't defined in her in the RFP. I'd buy that, wouldn't you? Would you buy that? Yeah. No, I'd yeah. buy that. Remember, everything is the way you put it together and the way you express the way. I mean, passion. I want to hear. I want to. I believe. You know, I believe you, but I'm telling you, I'm passionate about. It. Uh, staging plan, percentage, we talked about that. Competition. The American way, right? Everything in this country, we're very competitive. <coughs> very competitive. We're so competitive that if somebody was to come up to somebody in our profession that was successful, Notice I put that in there. And said, you can take a six-month sabbatical and go to Australia and Indonesia and Japan. And we'll spend a month in China. And then go over to Europe. Six months and we'll just travel. You know what? Most people would not do it. Why? We'd be afraid 
somebody would have taken our job when we got back. Right? I had that conversation with a guy from Australia. He was on one of those six month sabbaticals. And I asked him, What are you thinking, man? What's going to happen to your job when you get back? Because that's a cultural thing that uh, the Americans have a real issue with. We don't yeah. feel that way. We don't feel that way. My job is safe. You know, in our office, if, you know, it took two, two weeks off this year, and, and I feel bad about that. If I took two months off, I promise you, when I got back, all my stuff would be in boxes out in the back in a trailer somewhere because there'd be somebody else sitting in my bed, in my office. And that's just the way we are, competitive. So this line item is going to be compared against the other teams. You know, that's, 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 part, of the, that's part of the thing that always, 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 I don't care how good we are, we're always thinking, ooh, ooh, ooh. you know, compared to other people, other groups. And I don't know that they ever really know the outcome of this, Lana. Do you, you ever post what the... Yeah. Okay, so you will know. That's a good thing. If I tell them what place they came in. Most of the time, we never know. Huh? We never know. To this day, we don't know how we did on GCs at uh, Health and Biomedical compared to our competitors. We know how we did internally, you know, in terms of what it actually cost. And then how do you take risk? Because... If this takes you the course of a semester, no big deal. You know, you came together with a group of people, you had a team, you worked together, turned in something, it was good, it was bad, you move on, right? Well, in the real, in the real world, world, this is how we're getting our, our, our jobs. The fact that Telepson has Health and Biomedical, Garage 1A, UC. I mean, there was something going on in our office for the last couple of years that we wanted to be here on this campus, right? And whatever we were doing looked like it was working out pretty good because, boy, on this corner of campus here, we got a, we got a lock, stock, and barrel, don't we? That's the reason. We were willing to take more risks than some of our competitors. That makes sense. Now, we got we're out there, we're working. <clears throat> what if we would have just missed it by this much? We'd be standing behind the fence watching, looking in. Right? Next one. One of the things I want to say about competitive nature of the GCs, remember when we reviewed the proposal, truly your cost. Remember, we said that it's going to be evaluated on your fee and GCs, not necessarily the total number you calculate. Mm. That total number is to show competency, that you're trustworthy, that you know. Defensible. It's defensible, okay? Remember I talked about, since it's time-related, if the owner chooses to delay a project, let's say, for instance, you're in a hospital, area, you're at the Texas Medical Center, and the health care bill comes up, and everybody stopped working like they did, and they'd already hired a contractor to do CM at risk, but they wanted to slow the project down because they weren't sure on the downstream end how they were going to get paid for Medicare, Medicaid, those things. Now, this is real work, okay? If the owner had chosen a firm with high GCs per month and high fee, they would have lost more money than they needed to on CM at risk. And I guarantee you, all those projects that are complex in nature are all utilized CM at risk or IPD. Okay? So the competitive nature of this line item to the owner is if they delay, how much are they going to have to pay out of their pocket for the benefit of using your people? Okay? Because your general conditions is your people. It's not the cost of work. It's your people. I, I had uh, 
Houston Community College. We submitted on one of these RFPs, and it's exactly as she described, B and GCs. Um, the purchasing guy pulled me into the office, along with the construction guy, and he his tact was he would he would he first he, he said okay uh, thanks for coming today uh, you weren't the lowest one matter of fact we have negotiated this with two other firms and failed to reach an agreement so you're really the third one okay his tact was to write a percentage down on a piece of paper <coughs> and fly it over to me and say would you do it for this percentage and it was B and GCs looked at it. Looked at my partner that was with me, and I said, uh, and he goes, "Oh, take take some time. If you need to go do some calculation and stuff, we'll we'll just go over here and get a cup of coffee or coke. We'll be back in a few minutes." So we we you know we were thinking on our feet, doing high level math, <laughs> using our phones and using everything else because we didn't you know we didn't expect we were this kind of a question. So they came back, and uh, I said, "Well." Um, do you want a project manager on this job? And I looked at the construction administrator guy. He said, yes. I said, do you want to have a superintendent on the job every day? Looked at the, the heck with the purchasing guy. Yes. I said, well, this percentage won't cover full-time superintendent. So what you're asking me to do is to do your project with a superintendent and no project manager. Is that what you want to do? Well, no. We we got to have a project manager. Uh, well, what percentage would it take then? You see, you see how that negotiation where where you know this guy, the buyer, thinks he's got all the power and slides something over there, but what I, what we're going to do is we're going to make concessions. All right. You want us to go out there and build it with no project manager and a superintendent that comes out four days a week? Fine, that's what we'll do. But it ain't gonna be a good job, right? It's not gonna be a good job. Helter Skelter on Friday. So we ended up getting our project manager. They were trying to buy it for the lowest dollar. Next one. Stayed way too long on this one. Okay. CSI. How many of you are familiar with the CSI format? You are. New or old? Old. <coughs> How many divisions? 16. That's all I, I refuse to memorize is 16 divisions. Do not tell them that. How many? How many are there now? More than 33. There's more than 33 now, but I refuse to go past 16. Don't tell them that. They have to no, go we're on both for the AIC. We're absolutely on board. They have to go on both for the AIC. Easy, world is hard. <laughs> <laughs> world is All right. Yeah. So what? What? What's Division Twenty Seven? <laughs> Thank you. Division Twenty Six. Wow, I'm impressed. Fire protection. Oh, ooh, I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> Very good. So you got to know this stuff. I got confidence in her right now because she's in Division 21 with fire protection. The rest of you are not <laughs> um, It was easy when it was 16. You know, I challenge anybody in this room, anybody, to name anything that goes into a building and both of us will tell you what division it goes in. Come on. Anything. Come on, man. <laughs> you talking to amateurs? I'm older than him, so I may forget. <coughs> Come on, anything. Division 10. I would agree. This time I'll answer. Car car car. 12. Fur furnishing. Artificial plants. Artificial plants, very good. Twelve. It goes in twelve. Still goes in twelve, doesn't it? Carpet. Carpet is, is we can almost get down to the 90, 96, 96.60. Overhead oh. projectors. Uh, overhead, that's, that could be audio visual equipment, which 
sometimes is in Division 11, sometimes it's in Division 28. Huh? Louvers. Those, that's not a louver, my man. That's a grill. That's a Division 25. Is that HBC 25? Used to be 15. 23. 23. Get on. <laughs> But see that <laughs> that they, that helped us. Can you can you understand? Can you understand how that detail format helps you with your thinking, the way you organize, the way you think about any building? You know what we lost in the translation from the old to the new is all the division two stuff. What the heck happened to Division 2? I mean, it used to be all the side stuff, and now I don't know what the heck it is. Existing, existing condition, demolition, or something. But see, every, every project, we're thinking about it in a CSI nature. You know, that's the first thing I'll ask an architect or an engineer. You know, they'll say, oh, look at all this fancy 3D model. I mean, it, we can roll it around and turn it upside down and look and stick your hand in. We can walk through it. And... That's all fine. But until you organize your thinking and put it, put it in this format, I'm guessing, right? Yeah. Once we have that, we've got our checklist and we're ready to go. And we're getting into detail. This is what I call estimate. You understand the third point? I mean, even the superintendents know what this stuff means. Both systems. Uh, they got to, don't they? I think we have we, to to pass this down. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we do. Every job has has a uh, set of specs, you know, and it, it just helps in the way you think. I, I think that as a as people that you, you have to understand the way you think. A lot of people are analytical in detail in the way they put, they process things. Me, I'm more of a system thinker, where I'm thinking big, big picture. You know, I can break a building down in a lot of different ways, and I always, always, always recommend that you do it multiple ways, with multiple opinions. If there's five of this on this first row, it doesn't hurt and it doesn't require a whole semester's of time to come up with the answer that you're looking for and then cuss and discuss it. Because the end result is going to be better than the best of the five. Okay?